Ooh, you guys, I got something to share here. Yeah, you see it right here. Oh, 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 oh. What is this thing? Beautiful. Um, this is the Sony 777ES. Uh, this is the SCD 777ES, not to be confused with the normal 777ES, which is also a beautiful, beautiful CD player, by the way. Oh, this here, this is just... Um, this was one of those players that, that Sony just had to showcase what we can do with some uh, with a couple of pieces of really good steel and some uh, engineering and craftsmanship. Um, 55 pounds heavy. It's a beast. Um, this was the model under the SCD-1, which was a $5,000 uh, costing uh, Super Audio CD player. Uh, this was the, well, budget version of it. Uh, it has the exact same transport as the SCD-1. Uh, the main difference was actually, uh, there was a one pound difference <laughs> between the two. Uh, it had a, a potted transformer instead of the two R transformers that this one has. And uh, it had balanced. So this one does not have the balanced option on it. Uh, at the time, there was a big thing, balanced, balanced, balanced especially with a Super Audio CD as I, as I get it from the information that I've read. So this one didn't have it. This one was respectively uh, $3,500 MSRP. Um, they still go for actually quite a high dollar amount. Uh, you're looking at about eighteen dollars to $2,000 for a player like this. And then I know, yes, our newer player is better than this. On a DAC level, um, honestly, for me, it's hard to hear differences between that. So I'm just going to keep that in the middle for myself. But it's safe to assume that the newer DACs are just better than what's in here. But that's why we have a digital coax or an optical to just really go to any DAC of your wishes. In terms of a transport, uh, I don't think it gets any better than this, really. Um, um, I think that Wadia makes some beautiful transports, but those are players that walk up to 11, 11 to $30,000. So you're talking to by you know, super, super high-end CD players, I think this is great bang for my buck. Uh, as I said, it's 55 pounds heavy. The Sony, I always loved Sony's. I have an XA20ES, uh, also with a puck. You'll see it in a minute. And I also have a CDP-101, the world's first commercial CD player, which, of course, is grossly outdated to anything that's in here. But still, I have a warm heart for it. I love good engineering. I love... Uh, the heritage of it. So uh, this came out in about around 2000s. And it's just gorgeously built. It's all steel. It's not plastic. No fake outs. It's all steel. Uh, it's just really gorgeous. Gorgeously built. I love this design. I love it actually better look-wise than the SCD-1, which has a huge beveled uh, uh, front to it. Also beautiful player. Uh, this is the exact same transport, so you get a lot of value here. Um, so let's just see how it operates. It's a top loader, which is really cool. Um, I just hit stop. I don't have to, but whatever. I'm just going to open it. <clears throat> As you see, the drawer opens. The action is really smooth, still after all these years. Um, this is a brass puck. It's really heavy. Um, the XA20ES that I have has an aluminum puck. Uh, with a magnetic insert, so it stays on there. It's a lot lighter than this, but this is really heavy. Um, here we have the inner, the inside of it. It's nice and clean. Uh, it's all protected. This one has two lasers. It's the SACD laser, uh, and then we have for CDs, for normal CDs. Um, this player is not fast. It's a slow player. It's the same with SACD readings. It will take about 60 seconds to read a whole SACD. But, you know, um, that was at the time, this was, <coughs> pardon me, uh, new, new technology, people. Um, <coughs> my apologies. Um, close it. Look at the drawer action. Just beautiful. It will read. It takes a little minute. Even with CDs, it takes a little bit. Um, <coughs> this pickup was not new at the time I read. It was not innovative at the time. It was not like, oh, this was the first one I had it. Uh, before they did it already, but this is a fixed pickup, so that means the laser is stays in place and the disc moves over the laser. So that's kind of how this how this reads. Instead of the laser reading the disc, um, it's doing a table of contents reading. As you can tell, it takes a little bit, but here you go. 
smooth action too, by the way. Um, and then uh, display, there you go. Uh, I also like it, you can put the display off. Uh, what I do at night times, I just put the display off. But uh, there you have it, you guys. Monster of a CD player. It doesn't fit in my rack, so I need to figure that out. Uh, the amp is off, so don't worry about this. Uh, about the amp, amp is off. It's not being used. That one's being used to drive everything. So, because um, I don't want to uh, heat it up or anything. But um, there you go. Wanted to share it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, hopefully, see you in the next one.